Cheating in a half or full marathon nowadays is pretty much an impossible task to accomplish. There's people watching everywhere, tons of checkpoints you have to pass, you'd have to be lacking some sort of brain power and moral compass to even attempt something like this. There are quite a few names in the marathon world that have gone down as notorious cheaters that have tried to claim ridiculous times, but rarely are they people with inherently large followings already. Let's take a look at how these two models blatantly cheated in a half marathon and take a gander at the interesting aftermath that followed. Hold it. Models Bree TAC and Chloe Ture signed up for a half marathon race based in Temecula, California. It was part of the Divas 5K and Half Marathon series, and they were expected to show up at 7.30 a.m. to lace up and run for a good cause, since the race was sponsored by a couple charities. Once they arrive, the gun goes off and all is going well. They're jogging the course, but nothing wrong with that for those who don't have any prior race experience. They come through just over 10K in 132.14, putting them in contention to finish in just a little over three hours. As they approach the 11 mile split though, no chip timer seems to go off, but perhaps it's some sort of weird error on the race organizer's part. But then they come through the finish line, and after getting some posing pictures and taking a look at the results to further confirm, she managed to finish with a time of 158.22 alongside her friend. Very odd. But let's see what Brie has to say about it. Brie did take this to Instagram to celebrate her accomplishment and posted a picture with the caption quote, my first half marathon with no prep in exactly two hours. We had so much fun and loved supporting Run Like a Diva in support of breast cancer awareness. I'm so proud of us. Awkward humble brag aside, her post was met with support from fans and nothing really came out of this. Until a couple weeks later where one site put her on blast that would initiate quite the shit show. That place of course, was Let's Run. On February 27th, 2019, a user by the name of Riddick Nick, Riddick Nick, Riddick, close enough, made a thread on Let's Run detailing the blatant inconsistencies within Brie and Chloe's half marathon times. While Chloe's records were either unrecorded or erased, Brie's splits on the other hand are still accessible to this day. The OP points out that despite Brie coming through the 6.4 mile mark at just over an hour and a half, she miraculously finished the rest of the race in under 30 minutes, which is essentially four minutes flat per mile pace. Not to mention she didn't even register an 11 mile split, whereas just about everyone else in the race did. This thread would instantly reach the number one spot of Let's Run, and the person behind the thread would post it on their own website too, MarathonInvestigation.com, which is exactly what you think it is. Nevertheless, Brie Tiasi came under scalding hot water for this with major news outlets eventually picking it up too, and she quickly changed the caption under her original picture, along with disabling comments altogether. What's even more surprising is that instead of laying low like her friend did, Brie decided to respond to Let's Run and other news outlets with a grand series of Instagram story posts. Some of these are unfortunately inaccessible now, but we do have some of the important bits that we'll run through. First, she mentions how she wasn't even registered onto the race despite having a chip timer. She mentions on multiple occasions how it was for charity to deflect any suspicion. Doesn't seem to like cardio either. She also has a knee injury apparently and prides herself on forcibly doing a half marathon on it. Lastly, she posts a screenshot of a half marathon question where it asked, what is the average time it takes to run a half marathon? Which in this case is two hours, which she then laughs straight in your face because you're dumb and wrong and have no idea what you're talking about. Anyways, more evidence came about in the coming days because if you're going to accuse someone of cheating, you may as well lay any and everything out on the table. Some brought up the notion of her potentially not knowing she skipped the course since she has zero genuine competition experience and probably can't tell a mile from a couple miles apart as ridiculous as that sounds. Well, the problem is that this card gets folded immediately because they changed the course to make it so she had to know if she blatantly skipped parts of it. For some odd reason, the organizers never formally let the athlete athletes know ahead of time, at least not on their website, that the course was drastically altered due to some harsh weather conditions leading up to the event. Thankfully, Derek from Marathon Investigations was able to confirm a layout he mapped out, which looks something like this. Basically, the course is now two loops instead of one, which makes miles 6 and 11 a little over half a mile apart from each other. Since we know Bree took a photo of the mile 11 sign, it's possible that the 6.4 mile marker is the same thing as the 11 mile one, or stumbling upon mile 11, they realized they could just skip over it, join back in the race for the last two miles, and score those sweet, sweet social brownie points. 
Overall, it would be near impossible to prove that she didn't know any better because the mile markers are so absurdly close to each other. And even today, Brie never formally addressed the impossible splits between her first and final one. And the fact that her 11 mile split is conveniently missing too, makes the evidence all the more damning. Again, it's obvious she cheated the marathon based off of the first and final splits, but it's always good to check all of your bases just in case. Despite the marathon investigators doing a fantastic job at examining this whole case and calling out cheaters when they see them, they did kind of take it a bit too far when they made this awkward challenge article. They challenged Bree to run a six minute mile in the next 30 days and even got a race organizer to fill out a $10,000 check to a charity of her choice if she can do it, which like, come on, you really think a full-time model is going to go through these lengths under this strict of a criteria, even though you know for a fact she can't even do it in the first place, but I digress. Overall, Brie Tiasi and Chloe Teray are certified half marathon cheaters. They took advantage of a charitable event where both of them used it for good press, but one of them doubled down a bit too hard and made an absolute fool of themselves. I think at its core though, especially with some hindsight, it's more of a goofy situation than anything. You have these two models that don't know anything about running, signing up for a race way longer than they probably could comprehend. Then when granted the opportunity, they try cheesing the race in a dumb and dumber like scenario and score some temporary very good press along the way, which they then get caught like a Scooby-Doo villain once the evidence was in plain sight. Brie Tiasi to this day still has her comments limited on her Instagram posts, which may or may not be related, but Chloe Teray is still doing her thing virtually untouched because, well, A, she's obscenely popular to be fair, but B, she kept her mouth shut throughout the entire thing. Either way, it's a goofy situation that got resolved rather quickly, and the punishment seems to have fit the crime. This is one of the more innocent marathon cheating stories out there, but there are others that remain to be much more calculated and malicious. Until then though, this is the story of the models who cheated in a half marathon, and thanks for watching. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel, and if you want to support the channel for more content like this, come on over and become a patron, drop a sub, and peep the Instagram too. I'll see you all in whatever video I upload next, and take care.